Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, without any further ado, we will start our today's press conference. So first of all, on behalf of Human Concern International, uh, Hassan Wadi, who is also our brand ambassador spokesperson. We also have uh, Mashuda Lubna Sayyid, who is our board member. On behalf of all of them, I'd like to welcome all of you here. The ethnic media, which plays a very important role, and you all are here to cover the press conference and to understand what Human Concern International is doing and why we are doing these three no, events and what is our plan when it comes to clean water for life. Uh, my name is Uvais Iqbal and I am uh, Human Concern International's global ambassador and spokesperson. The purpose of this press conference, I've explained it to you. Uh, we will have uh, short speeches here. They will explain you from HCI perspective as well as our respected guest who is here. Later on, we will take a few questions, uh, maybe five to seven questions, and uh, we would like, you, like to have your questions around the purpose, why we are here, what Human Concern International is doing in partnership with uh, uh, Engine Elton, and uh, again, the whole idea behind the clean water for, uh, for life for everyone. So, and then later on, I also wanted to do just the ground rules here, so later on, once the press conference is over, most of you also asked the question, what would happen to the tonight's event? So please meet me after the press conference is over. I will give you seating passes for tonight's event. So you will have, uh, you'll be able to enjoy the event tonight and take the message even forward to the audience uh, uh, from that standpoint. And also you would be wondering, uh, and I want to just address this up front, we will not have the opportunity for each one of you take solo photos here, but I have requested the team at least we can do one big group photo so the media in Toronto can remember for the rest of life that we welcomed the Muslim hero of the century. The Arthurul series that we all saw. The inspiration, the people, the way we all enjoyed and we all loved the history of Ottoman Empire. This is second to none. So without any further ado, I would now request the Executive Director of Human okay, Concern Mahmoud Khan. Okay. Let's be careful uh, for each other. Ellie, you good? You good? Okay, let's clap for Ellie. Thank you very much. So I request uh, Mahmoud Khan, who is the Executive Director of Human Concern International, to please address the ethnic media here in Toronto on December 11th. Thank you very much, Abbas. Thank you all for being here. Good evening, everyone, and may peace and blessing be upon you. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we are on the land of First Nation and the Metis community, whom we respect a lot, and we are grateful to have opportunity to be present in this territory. Thank you for joining us today as the Executive Director of Human Concern International. It is my pleasure to be here with all of you. ACS, the oldest Canadian Muslim international relief charity, we're on the ground in the most drought striking areas of the world to provide vulnerable communities with access to clean drinking water. For over a decade, I have worked in humanitarian relief at, at HCI. I've witnessed global disasters and assisted with response, relief, and sustainable solutions. Today marks the third day and the final day, the conclusion of our Water for Life national tour, which we started in Ottawa at Friday and we had a press conference at the parliament there. Uh, then the second day was at Edmonton and finally here with all of you at GTA. And we're here to build awareness and raise a million dollars for clean water project around the world, as well as here in Canada in support of the indigenous community who are also struggling to have access to clean water. This year alone, ACI has worked on water projects in over 10 countries, including the construction of deep tube wells, repair of broken and damaged water points, construction of water wells, installations of solar beds, desalitation units, drilling of boreholes, and delivery of water tankers to rural communities, including refugee camps. However, our responsibility begins at home. You must have all heard, charity starts at home. For hundreds of years, many First Nation, Anuit, and Metis community have struggled to access to have access to clean drinking water. The government have failed to meet its pledge to end long-term advisory on First Nations by March 2021 deadline, and it has been pushed the commitment to 2025. We're here to stand in solidarity with the Indigenous community, the peoples uh, across Canada, and demand urgent action from the federal government to ensure access to clean drinking water in all First Nations and Anuit communities. I would like to thank Mr. Anjan Altan Dujyadin, who has come all the way from Turkey to Canada to support HCI's nation, national tour to fundraise for clean water access. 
He's an internationally recognized Turkish actor who has dedicated himself to advocate for environmental challenges, particularly access to clean water. In 2019, he starred in a documentary titled Be Witness, which, has filmed in a, which was filmed in Africa and in Turkey that shed light on water insecurity faced by some of the most vulnerable communities uh, in Africa. So Hello. Uh, I would like to thank Human Concern International for inviting me to be part of this important project. Uh, I am honored to visit Canada and join uh, Mahmoud Khan and the Member of Parliament to speak on this critical subject. Like many with a global platform, I have been committed to raising awareness about climate change impacts around the world. I have traveled throughout Africa documenting the effects of a lack of clean water access of communities. As an avid photographer, my journey began in Kenya to capture the natural beauty of the continent, where I faced a striking reality that deeply affected me. Uh, 53% of Africa's people do not have access to clean water and 3 out of every 10 newborn babies die due to the disease originating from uh, contaminated water. I have witnessed people who travel days to get to clean water access, point to fill one bucket for their family. Some locals, including women, have to walk about 25 to 30 kilometers in order to reach water. So I began to research the issue and eventually I produced a documentary called Be Witness to build awareness about clean water access. Water shortages are reality awaiting us all. Many countries like Canada are slowly coming to this reality. But developing countries are the most vulnerable to climate change, suffering from droughts and water shortage and places like Africa have been unable to find clean water for centuries. According to UNICEF, over 700 children under five are dying daily from disease linked to inadequate water, sanitation and hygiene. Uh, many more children regularly miss school because they are too ill to attend, uh, compounding level of inequality in some of the most disadvantaged communities. Human Concern International's innovative water projects are uplifting communities throughout the world. However, even these projects require ongoing maintenance and training in order to sustain communities that benefit from them. Thank you very much. So now I would request our uh, Deputy Executive Director, Mohammed Usman Nurani, for his remarks. Hi everyone, my name is Mohammed Nurani and I am the Deputy Executive Director and Director of Programs at Human Concern International. ATI's humanitarian work is rooted in our commitment to social justice and I believe access to clean water is a most fundamental social justice issue above and beyond challenges like extreme poverty, food scarcity, gender inequality and many others. This understanding of social justice is what has guided all of our humanitarian efforts abroad. But it is also why ATI has recognized that our responsibility begins here at home. Many Canadians do not realize the extent of the water crisis in Canada. This summer, parts of our country had water shortages so severe that a state of emergency was declared. Most Canadians enjoy clean water every day and are unaware of the many indigenous communities lack and are, un are unaware that most of the indigenous communities lack this most basic human right, access to safe drinking water. We are all responsible for ignoring this fundamental social disparity and failing to provide a basic human right. We as a nation are failing our indigenous communities. Human Rights Watch found in 2016 that the Canadian government violated its international human rights obligation to First Nations people and communities by failing to address this severe water crisis. The facts are as follows. As of October 2022, the Government of Canada reported that there are still 31 long-term drinking advisories in 27 reserve communities, with some in place for more than 25 years. According to Water First, as of July 2022, 111 First Nations communities across the country are affected by drinking water advisories. A single, a single drinking water advisory can result in up to 5,000 people being deprived of safe, clean drinking water. Many Canadian relief organizations, such as Human Concern International, with extensive experience in clean water solutions, are looking to the Government of Canada to collaborate and leverage this expertise here at home. 
Canadian donors are eager to contribute to the provision of innovative, clean water solutions. So I'll just make some uh, concluding remarks on behalf of HCI. HCI is proud to be dedicating a portion of the funds collected in the Water for Life Tour to support local organization working on the ground uh, to pr improve the Indigenous community's access to clean water. So in these three days, anything we raise, 20% of the uh, fund collected will go toward Indigenous communities to help them access to, uh, right. give access to clean water. Today we're calling on the Government of Canada to first to recommit, recommit to eliminate the remaining <coughs> long-term drinking water advisories on the reserves. Second, address the deficit funding for the maintenance and operation of drinking water system on reserves, uh, which is Parliamentary Budget Officer actually had identified as being $138 million. So we would like them to do more, of course. And third, the Indigenous Service Canada to work alongside Canadian charities to develop a partnership program for supporting efforts to end long-term long drinking water advisories, improve the water and water systems on reserves and training programs as well. It, it's the year 2022. I'm a mother of eight and five years old. I don't think it's acceptable. Everybody would agree that it's not acceptable that anyone should have this inherent human right uh, that, that is not accessible to them. So it is a very important cause for them, and we're very grateful for Altan for joining this cause as well, uh, with us as well. So thank you so much, everyone, for being here with us today. Once again, I would uh, be very thankful to Mr. Elton for being here all the way from Turkey to support Human Concern International and meeting with the, the press people. So uh, Mr. Elton, this is uh, the, the press people of uh, Toronto, mainly from the Pakistani community and some other communities those who are here to take your message and HCI's message to the entire Canada and beyond. So people are from social media, from print media, uh, digital media and TV media. So as we said earlier at the beginning, we will take only a few questions and I've already seen few hands popping up. So first, uh, Ashad Bhatti sahab, please uh, ask your question. Uh, what convinced you, inspire you uh, to support the Human Concern International? As we know, it's a very good organization. How, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, actually, we have same concerns uh, with HCI. Uh, I'm very concerned of the clean water because I, need, I think everyone needs a clean water. And uh, I had a documentary, you know, I made a documentary for this uh, cause. So when they called us and we researched, of course, HCI and very honorable uh, organization, 43 years uh, organization and they are very uh, professional also, and they are doing very well. So I'm very thank you for them, uh, because I'm the part of this issue. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for uh, doing the great job. Only one question, your partnership with SCI, is this is limited for this tour only, or will be extended for the further? We just started. Uh, we are talking what we can do together, of course, uh, but it's just beginning, I hope so, uh, because I told you, we have same concerns. Uh, I'm very into it, the clean water, all of the world, they need, uh, because the modern countries, we are pollute water very fast, but third world countries don't have a clean water access, so we have to do something. And modern countries can do that. Yeah. Thank you. So we also have a journalist from Pakistan, Maria Khan, uh, who's Maira. visiting. Maira. Maira Khan, I'm sorry. Maira. Maira is very popular, yeah. Maira Khan from Express, so please ask your question. Uh, hello. First of all, I would like to tell you I'm your biggest fan. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm from Pakistan. Uh, I work in Express News. And uh, I want to know, when will you visit Pakistan? <laughs> yes. Because I want to uh, see you in Pakistani projects. Uh, we are talking on it, actually. Really? Yeah, I hope so. Soon, really? we can say. Yeah, I hope so. Will I get some part in the uh, play? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. But we are working on it to uh, cooperation. Yeah? Yeah, co-produce. Co-produce co co the, the one movie. Pakistani and oh, Turkish nice. movie. So yeah, we are, we are talking, but not, okay. I can say, this time. I hope so, it's very soon. Also one request. Uh, I love the way you say, 
Ghazal uh, to Halima Sultan. <laughs> so, could you please, could you please say something? Like, as if I'm, I, uh, am I, <laughs> I'm Myra. So can you say something for my eyes, you know? Gözlerin gerçekten çok güzel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good. So as I said, we won't be able to take so many questions. We'll take few more. Faisal Bhai. Thank you so much. Uh, since uh, Mr. Vasibal, you introduced human concerns in Pakistani community. And Pakistani community has uh, supported this uh, project a lot. And sir, you have visited Pakistan. Since you have produced one of the biggest uh, serial, Archibald Ghazi, and what do you think in was watched in Pakistan a lot? What is your message about your serial for the Pakistani people? Uh, I feel the Pakistani people love in everywhere. When I'm going to other countries, Pakistani people, you know, better than me, is everywhere on the world. So I feel the like this much love I've never seen. Uh, I'm very, very thankful for the Pakistani people for such a this love. And I hope. Uh, I'm visit soon Pakistan, and I can feel this love in Pakistan, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, um, first of all, uh, for coming, and uh, it's an honor to have you. My name is Rana Omer from Canadian Pakistani Narrative. Um, in terms of inspiration, Artuk al Ghazi serial itself was a big inspiration for all the Muslims. And as you mentioned, that there are a few other projects in pipeline as well. Um, when we talk about the common man, who gets always inspired by you, um, like Human Concern International, you're associated with this organization. Are there any other things um, in terms of when we talk about our kids, other than the Artuk al Ghazi serial, we can show it to them that Egan Altan is coming up with these kind of things? New TV series. Or any project, anything. Uh, yeah, be witness. Uh, actually, children can can watch to be witness. And I I also uh, made a new documentary about a plastic issue and uh, microplastics, because I told you the modern countries pollute the water very fast, and the other communities don't have a clean water access. So first first documentary was about the third world countries and the clean water access issue. And the second one is about uh, microplastics and plastics issue. Uh, so they can watch uh, these, these shows and then maybe they inspired and maybe they can join some kind of this organization and then they can do some good things for the humanity, inshallah. Thank sure. you so much. Thank Last you. four or five minutes, pretty yes, quick, sir. a few questions. Ever Thank three. you very much, uh, Aves, uh, for arranging this uh, media briefing today. And I would like to welcome you again to Toronto. Uh, my name is Ahmed Gureja and I am from Airby News. The question is, uh, the role that you have played in Arthur Ghazi is all about reviving Islamic spirit. How difficult was that role? Uh, it was difficult to shoot actually, uh, because, uh, you know, when we started to show in Turkey, it was really difficult to shoot every week 150 minutes, uh, and then every episode 150 minutes, and then we don't have a, enough stunt in Turkey that times, now, mashallah, a lot of, but that times, uh, it was really difficult to shoot, uh, but it was okay, I think, so everyone loves it. So, but of course it was difficult to shoot in Turkey. Last question, Hina, last question. Just, yeah. just two more, Hina. And then, As uh, then Badr Munir. Sure. Asalaamu As Alaikum, my name is Hina Siddiqui. I'm from Canada One TV. <laughs> Welcome to Canada and uh, thank you so much. Jazakallah Khair for spreading Deen again all over the world. This is just kind of a uh, a big ignite in Muslim, uh, you know, Ummah. Uh, all of the people uh, in um, the world, they are talking about you just because you spread the message very well. So my question to you is, um, 
What do you think is the biggest concern or a threat to humanity at the moment, uh, according to you? Uh, I think justice. <laughs> yeah. Because we need the justice for everyone. Uh, the big issue is the humanity, I think, for, for justice for everyone. Yeah. Muslim people and non-Muslim people. It's everyone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Human Concern is the best organization. Uh, thank you so much for uh, allowing uh, me a question. Uh, but, uh, I hope uh, uh, you did watch uh, some portion of Urdu version of your drama, Arthur. Uh, uh, did you like uh, Urdu voiceover of you? And uh, if you learn some uh, sentence or some dialogue, please uh, deliver it. Oh my god. Oh, now? <laughs> oh. It's very difficult, guys. Uh, I quit the show two years ago. So, I, really, really very difficult for me. I won't lie, thank you. So now, thank you. Uh, so, thank you each, each and every one of you. And I